Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's Fruit of the Womb service. My name is Andrea Scott, and I am the founder of Pregnancy by Faith Ministry. And today's topic is emotional. We're going to be addressing any emotional blockages to the womb. All right. So come on in. God bless you. Happy Sunday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm just going to start out the service um, by just praising the Lord, acknowledging our King, acknowledging our God. That's what I'm going to be doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you glory. God, we give you honor. We give you praise. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. We magnify and we glorify your name, Jesus. Hello to everyone who is just jumping on. Welcome to today's Fruit of the Moon service. This is something that we are um, planning to do every other week, okay? So we did this about two weeks ago. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Ania. Welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this day, God. We thank you for this Sunday service, the Sunday fruit of the womb service, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to bless this service, Father. We ask you to meet the needs of your people, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. We thank you that this service is the answer to somebody's prayer, Lord. We thank you that this would be the beginning of a turnaround for someone. Hallelujah, that that what will be taught will be revelation and insight for someone. That as we begin to go forth, that you, God, will begin to break every yoke, that the oppressed will go free, that heaviness would lift, that miracles, signs, and wonders would be present. Father, I'm praying that during this service that you will confirm your word with signs and wonders following Heavenly Father, that you, oh God, would make yourself known in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You said weeping may endure for a night, but then you said joy cometh in the morning. So I thank you that as a result of time spent in this service, that somebody's joy will come forth. Hallelujah. That somebody's faith would be ignited, Heavenly Father that you will meet somebody right here, that this is their appointed time, that they have an appointment with you, God. Hallelujah. We are here to hunger and thirst after righteousness. And the Bible says that we shall be filled. So come on and feel the atmosphere, Holy Spirit. Feel the room, Holy Spirit. Feel our minds, Holy Spirit. And we ask you to prepare our hearts Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We can't say thank you enough. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to scoop this back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Welcome, everybody. If you are new, this is Peter Scott, my husband. And this is Pregnancy by Faith Ministry. I'm going to scoot in with you some more. I'm going to scoot in with you. I don't know we could scoot, scoot like this, fit in the fit in the frame together. How you doing? doing you well. Love you. Love Amen. Love <laughs> so look, guys, we are believing God for blessings in marriage, ministry, and money. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, let me know you start and and the reason why I put it that way is because how can you take care of God's house if you cannot take care of your own? So I said marriage, mm -hmm. ministry, and money. Amen. The Bible says money answereth all things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we are just praising God right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. 
We thank you, Lord oh, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Glory to your name, God. Oh, yes, yes, God. Hallelujah. Mm, yes, God. Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My soul says yes. God, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Kept our minds, Thank you, oh God. Kept our family, Thank you, oh God. Close to us. Kept oh, our house, kept our peace. Mm, kept oh, our house. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Even still, 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 Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for your precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Today, when I was worshiping God and I was spending some time with Him, there was a uh, amazing, amazing word that He gave me, and I want to share with you all this morning. Is it a lag on your Okay. Hold on, we got experiencing some lag. I don't know if y'all experiencing it or not. All right. Is it um is it going slow on y'all end? Is it lagging on y'all end? We're going to go anyway. Um, let me know if y'all can still hear me good, because it's like a little delay. Anyway, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against any distraction, Lord, in the name of Jesus in the spiritual realm. Anything that's trying to hinder this word, because as soon as I was beginning to go forth and, and, and release the word that you've given me this morning, this happened. For Father God, fix everything, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask that you fix it, God, in Jesus' name. Let me show you get off and go back and come back on. Because they, they said there's a lag on the on YouTube. Because I don't know if you all can hear me good or if it's choppy. Just ask me if they can hear me. Are y'all hearing me clear? Let me know if it's choppy or if it's fine. And we just keep going. So I'm waiting on y'all before we know what to do next. Cause I don't want y'all to miss this word. So let us know if it's like it, 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 it or if it's smooth. You know what? Say what? I'll go on it all. Off. I'll look at it. Okay. All right. Long as I get here. All right. So this morning, um, as I was in the presence of God, He gave me the rhema word. Right. It was a word concerning healing. So you all know how the word says. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, you are healed. When he was on that post, he was on the post and they um, had his hands tied. And the Bible said that in Romans time, it says they beat him with 40 stripes minus one, which is 39 stripes, right? But on those um, whips, you know, they call it a cat of nine tails. And it had you know, these nine things where it was stone, it was um, metal, and it was everything that was sharp that could pierce, rip open, and even cut the flesh to the bone. Now watch this. So he was whipped. Every time he got whipped, it was like nine times, although it was one stripe because of those nine things. So imagine being whipped 39 times times nine. That's a lot. It's very painful. So each time they hit his skin, it tore his skin. So every single dis-ease or thing that's happening in your skin is upon himself so that you may be whole. His muscles and the tissues, when they lashed him, it was ripped open so that his muscle showed. So every single issue that you have inside of your muscle, every type of disease, every muscular disease or muscular generation or anything in your muscles, he took it upon himself so that you may be whole, so that you may not have to bear it. Even his bones were showing because the muscles was ripped open and it exposed his bones. So any bone disease or anything going on with your bones, he already took it upon himself so that you may be healed. That's not enough. 
his head. If you have in torment in your mind, if it's some type of spirit that is trying to have mind control, or if you're dealing with any issues in your brain, any type of um, chemical imbalance, any type of brain tumors, brain cancer, anything that you're dealing with from your head, the crown of thorns was placed there and he was wounded and bruised so that you may not have that. He took upon himself so that you may be healed. All throughout his entire body, his legs, his arms, his stomach, his knees, his toes, his fingers, every inch of his body was whipped, broken, and exposed so that you may not have that, so that you may be healed. So that is exciting news. So you should be able to receive your healing today because you literally don't have to carry that. Every inch of his body was scorned and scorched just so you won't have to experience that. So really look at that, like inside and out. That healing is for you. That, that made me glad. I mean, I literally rejoiced at that, just getting that revelation. So hopefully that blessed y'all because it surely, truly blessed me. So I'll let you go ahead. <laughs> okay. yeah, let's just get in together somehow. We got to figure out some different methods because huh? this ain't working. Get both people in the frame. That's the thing. Okay. We can do that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are here today to hear what the Lord has to say concerning um, emotional barriers um, mm -hmm. that may block the womb. That's why we're here today. So some of you may have already went to church. Well, welcome back to church again. Welcome back to church again. Um, and before I go further, Father, we just thank you and we praise you for what's going to be released and for what is going to be said. Father, we just thank, thank you, you and praise you for your peace that surpasses all understanding, for keeping our minds stayed on you, God. Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are a God that answers prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I thank, thank you, you Lord God, that people apply what we are saying and that they will apply what we teach heavenly father and that you will be glorified so at the end guys of course we're never going to end this without um doing some sort of of praying um what happened a lot of people jumped off okay um here we go so let me find a scripture um the scripture that i was going to go to was um where it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospers. Yes. So we know that the soul is the mind, the will, and the soul is our emotions. Okay. But what is the soul? We we this is our body, but we have a mind, we have a will, and we do have emotions. Okay. And oftentimes the enemy can influence us or demonic spirits, unclean spirits can influence our mind. He can influence us in our will and in our emotions. So some of the things that we go through, um, it may not necessarily, the origin may not be directly from you. So we also have to, on this, in this walk, we also have to have discerning of spirits to discern, okay, is this the voice of God or is this the voice of the enemy? Okay, we have to discern that. So um, let me see here. So, beloved, I wish above all things, so we know that God's highest and best, his thoughts towards us, is that we would prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prospers. So, as our soul is prospering, meaning as our mind prospers, as our will and as our emotions prosper, we are going to reap the benefits of having good health. I believe that divine healing is for you. I believe that divine healing is for today, okay? Mm -hmm. Many of you are trying to conceive. You, are, you have been believing God for the fruit of the womb, okay? Um, you, have, you have prayed. You have cried. Some of you have fasted. And you're wondering, God, where's the block? You, you may be saying, God, where is the holdup? Lord, when is this going to come to pass? Or is this not for me? Do you not want me to be a mother? So if you ask God that question, I want to see how many people have questioned God about this. Go ahead and type that up in the chat if you have. And also for those of you who are new, make sure you follow us on Instagram. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and push the subscribe button. And I believe um, there should also be a notification bell that you can tap on as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So delay does not mean that you have been denied. Let's say that again, because sometimes when people 
do not get the fruit of the womb when they expect. They think that God is punishing them. Mm -hmm. um, they think that there's a curse on them. Mm -hmm. um, they think that 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 maybe um, there's some sort of sin in their lives. So I know when I was trying to conceive, there were so many things that I was trying to figure out. I wanted to get to the answer. I wanted to get to the manifestation. So that's why we're here today, because uh, God has all the answers, right? The, the mm -hmm. creator, he knows all about you. It says in Jeremiah 29, 11, 4, I know the plans that I have for you. So God has the blueprint for your life. Amen. Did you want to interject? Yes. And um, there was a word that was coming forth this morning. I was watching a, a live and he was talking about how Abraham, God told Abraham about the promised child, right? And Abraham was like, I think 75 years old or something like that. But guess how long it took Abraham to be able to bring forth his chosen child, Isaac. That promise ain't come till like 25 years later. That's but yet the promise time. came. That was a long time. But it came. And then he, he talked about how when God promised Moses, he promised um, Adam, he said, I would, um, when he was talking to the serpent, I would bruise his heel or something like that. He would bruise your heel and you would bruise his head or something like that. Okay. But that was 4,000 years later. But yet the promise came. We're not saying it's going to take you 4,000 years or 75 years or 25 years. But if God give you a word, it's going to come. It may seem like it's taking long, mm -hmm. but his word never returned unto him void. Mm -hmm. Void means something that cannot happen or is just forgotten or cast out. And his word is not like that. It always, always produces. So, he will make sure, as long as it's according to his purpose and his will, you're going to see that promise. So just believe that and hold tight to that because it will be yours. Be good job. Amen. Amen. So if you have already purchased um, Bible promises, mine is kind of messed up because I've been making good use of my Bible promises for fertility book. Um, but And this is, uh, I'm the author of this and it's at 30 Days of Prayers www.30daysofprayers.com if you want this. So I got some scriptures for you starting on, if you got this, it's on page uh, 33, okay? I just want to give a couple of uh, foundational scriptures. So this right here says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thine own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy path. So in your fertility, when it comes to your emotions or any blockages, whatever is blocking and stopping you to, to getting to the promise, whatever barrier there may be, whatever wall needs to come down. This is what scripture says right here in Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thine own understanding. And all that, so don't try to figure out on your own. And all that was acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path, okay? And the next scripture I want you to go to is Philippians chapter four, verse 19. But my God shall, shall supply all of your need according to his riches in glory. So whatever you need concerning your womb, your hormones, um, concerning nutrients, uh, concerning what things that you may even need to take, to help your body function properly, God shall supply all of your needs, spiritual needs, as well as natural needs. And then the next one, I love this scripture. This is Psalms 37, mm -hmm. verse five. And it says, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. I love that. I'm going to say that one more time. Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall, it is God that is going to bring it to pass for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is God that is going to bring it to pass. Okay. And just a few more scriptures. So if you have this book here already, I'm turning to page 29. Okay. Bible promises for fertility, page 29. And this chapter is uh, healing for the body, okay? Mm -hmm. Healing for the body. Okay. So I want to talk about with the woman that had the issue of blood. So these are good scriptures to begin to confess and speak over your womb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. So Psalms 107 verse 20 says... You can, you can put this in your notes, Psalms 
107, Thank verse you. 20. Hey, baby. Okay, it says, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Amen. He sent his word and healed them. Okay. Mark 10, verse 52, and Jesus said unto him, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Okay, here's one more for you. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse six, behold, I will bring it health and cure and I will cure them. Amen, receive this for yourself. Receive this as if God is speaking directly to you. Behold, I will bring it health and cure it. See God speaking to your room. Behold, I will bring it health and cure and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Amen. And here's the other scripture that I was telling you about earlier today. This is 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. God wants you to prosper. And he is not stopping when it comes to your womb. I pray that the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 would be your portion, which includes the blessings of the fruit of your body. Do you receive that today? Do you receive that today? Okay. Um, the very first chapter of this book it says, I can conceive. So you are to read these scriptures, digest these scriptures until they get in your spirit and they become a part of your life where you start seeing the manifestation of the word of God in your life. Okay. Amen. Here we go. So these are a lot of scriptures that talk about the fruit of your body, talk about conception and fertility. Here's one of my favorites, Leviticus 26 and 9. For I will have respect unto you and make you fruitful and multiply you and establish my covenant with you. The Bible says that children are a heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is a reward from him. Okay, so you can take this scripture and you can understand that the fruit of the womb is part of God's covenant with you, that he will manifest himself and establish his covenant concerning childbearing in your life. It says right here in Psalms 128, verse 3. 128, verse 3. Okay. Okay, it says, Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thy house. Thy children like all the plants round about thy table. Now that's right there. That is something that me and my husband, we know about. We never knew that when we were on the journey of trying to conceive for four not for four years, for seven years and having multiple miscarriages, we never knew that after having our first miracle baby, that God was going to open the womb again and again and again and again. But God takes the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. God, God is so awesome. He is a reward of those that diligently seek him. And that's what you have been doing. You have been diligently seeking God for the fruit of the womb. You have been diligently seeking God for a child. First Samuel, one of my favorite fertility scriptures, first mm -hmm. Samuel chapter one, verse 27, it says, for this child, my God. And this is true. When I'm saying this is true, for this child, I prayed and the Lord has given me uh -oh, the petition <laughs> that I desired of him. It must have fell on the floor. For this baby girl, I prayed for a specific gender. I wanted to have a girl child. I wanted to have a female. So before ovulation even takes place, before that egg is released from your ovary, start confessing and already speaking the gender that you desire, okay? No, baby, no. No, Jasmine, no, honey. Start speaking the gender that you desire. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't forget, we're going to be praying near the end of the service. Okay. So now we're going to talk about so emotional barriers. So, you know, women, us, sis, 
we are emotional, right? Men are not as emotional as we are. They're not. They're just, they're not wired that way. Men are not built that way, but we are emotional. And sometimes our issues, emotional things, traumas that we've been through, um, losses, hurt, unforgiveness, bitterness can in some sort of way manifest in the womb. So it is possible for there to be a link between someone having reproductive issues and then and it being a person who was raped or molest or molested or experienced some type of incest. It is possible for women to hold trauma in the womb, right? Um, I was reading a teaching somewhere and they said that fear manifests itself through digestive issues. Uh, another um, story that I came across was Dr. Henry Wright was ministering to a woman that had breast cancer. He spoke to the woman and said, what issue do you have with a female in your life? What issue do you have? Was it breast cancer or cervical cancer? Um, it was one, it's some sort of cancer. I don't remember if it was breast or cervical, but it was, I got to read the story again. Um, but the video is on YouTube when he began to share. It, it's actually on Sid Raw, okay? So there was cancer that was tied into unforgiveness with another female. And so the lady took what he said and went and had a conversation with the person that she had the all or the unforgiveness against. And, um, you know, she followed the, the command, uh, followed the scriptures and she forgave, right? She forgave her and um, they got that relationship right. They got things correct. And do you know, without even Dr. Henry Wright praying for the woman, um, the cancer had went away just from the act of obedience, first of all, and forgiving. God commands us to forgive. Okay. You don't want, you don't, you do not want unforgiveness, resentment, bitterness, or anything blocking or stopping you from obtaining what you've been believing God for. The Bible says the unbelieving servant was turned over to the tormentors. So we have to show people grace and mercy, just like we want grace and mercy extended to us. We have to also demonstrate that to other people because the Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Okay. So right now I want you to take a moment. If you can take a moment and think about, ask God, ask the Holy Spirit. Is there anyone in my life that I resent where there is any bitterness, any anger, hatred, or malice in my heart against them. So ask the Holy Spirit that. Because sometimes we can think we have it all together and we don't. We have to be coachable and teachable and be in a place where we're able to be corrected. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to let, don't let pride mm -hmm. or a spirit of resentment or bitterness hold you back from the promise that you've been believing God for for so long. When it's something simple as, you know what, I release it, God. It may take, it may be hard to do, but it's not impossible to do. Amen. With tears and be like, God, this, this is hard for me because of all they've done to me, the wrong they've done, but is it worth your future? It's not. Once you decide to let it go or once you let it go, not only will it feel like a whole weight is lifted off of your chest, off of your mind, <laughs> off of your back, off of your heart, off of your whole entire being, like, I can't believe it was just simple like that. I've been holding yes. all that in and all it took was that. Try to see. You owe yourself that. You owe your child that. You owe the promise that. Real simple. So let that be an assignment for you today. Let it be a challenge. I know people still make New Year's resolutions. Let that be one of them. At least... For the next three days. Three days. That's it. Three days. And some people, y'all could do it right now. Here and now. It's very simple. You'd be so glad you did. Just try it. 
And if there's anybody on here that have done that before, you released it and you did receive some type of blessing, put it in the chat so people can know that we're not just bumping our gums and talking, but this thing is real. It is serious. Once you release it, thank you, Holy Spirit. He just told me to remind you of the word because the word is what does the work. Not my words, Amen. but his word. And his word says, whenever you have your gift, right? Amen. And then you want to go before God because, you know, you want to pray and ask him for whatever it is you want to ask him for. And you remember that you have an art against your brother. It may not be your blood brother or your physical brother, but your brother could be your friend, your boss, your coworker, your cousin, the man across the street, the lady next door. It doesn't matter. If you remember, because the Holy Spirit will allow you to remember that you have an art against them. He said, hold up. Wait a minute. You got to put some forgiveness in it. Leave your gift there at the altar. Go back and make peace with your brother. Then and come and present your offer. Then on top of that, this is how important this is. He said, if you don't forgive men their trespasses, right. I mean, whatever they did to you, then neither can God forgive you. Some people don't want to hear this, but it's the truth. And that's what we're going to give you the truth. It is so important that even before Jesus died, he had no choice but to forgive those that killed him. While he was on the, the, the cross, he looked up and said, Father, forgive them for they know not what Amen. they do. Because he knew he couldn't see the Father. Amen. With feeling how he felt. Remember, he was human too. So he dealt with all manner of temptations and stuff that we dealt with. Yet without sin. So he said, you know what? I got to forgive them. Because if I don't, I can't go to where I need to go. So he forgave them. And then he was taken out. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So they are not worth it. There is nobody on this planet who is worth having my blessings, having my joy, having my peace, they're, they're not worth it. It doesn't mean that what they did to you was justifiable and that they weren't wrong, but it's about you being in right standing with the God that you serve, amen? So you release them and ask God to deal with them so that you can move forward in your life, amen? When you release a person from the grudge or the alt, God will then release what's in his hand, okay? Obedience is better than sacrifice. And we are going to be so, what could some of those emotional barriers be? Pull out your notes, pull out your notes, or you can type it up in the chat. What could possibly be some emotional barriers to the fruit of the womb? Okay. So I started out earlier talking about if someone was raped or molested. And there could be a link between that and several types of reproductive issues, right? Because as women, we are recipients. As women, uh, we can hold things in and sometimes we may not fully release out of ourselves some of the issues that we have experienced. Okay, so it could be trauma, rape, molestation, uh, stress, fear, rejection, or even witchcraft, um, and and just even anxiety as well. So, and then there could be also the blockage could be there was someone who spoke over your womb. There was someone that that made um, a proclamation over your womb, right? There may some of you there may have been something that happened when you were a child. And that's where the problem went. And for some of you, it could be, let's write that down, a generational curse. So let's write that down. It could be generational, where generation after generation, all the women have had divorces, or all the women have had miscarriages, or none of the women have had any children, any babies. And it happened with an aunt or a sister or a mother, where there are this... Um, repeated pattern of something so you want to look even think about your bloodline think about your family and just really begin to try to take inventory and take these things to the lord so like i said with the proverbs it says in all thy ways acknowledge him and then god is going to give you a blueprint god is going to give you a plan god is going to give you a vision or dream or prophetic word he's going to speak to you he's going to give you the answer he will direct your path Somebody said, will this be a replay too? Yes, um, after this service is over, you will be able to uh, catch the replay. 
but I really like it when people are able to participate live. Want to know why? Because I'm on here right now and the Lord may give me something specific just for you. He may give me a prophetic word. Um, there are some people that I minister to and God will tell me exactly what's wrong with you. Like he'll tell me, he'll give me a, a, a diagnosis. Okay. <laughs> a spiritual diagnosis. And that happens some, sometimes just, um, just by yielding to the Holy Spirit. And I like to be able to pray for you while you are already connecting live. I, I, I like that. Amen. Amen. I'm glad you are. So I'm glad you are all here. We've been on for 35 minutes already. That was quick. It doesn't even seem like it's been 35 minutes. So you see here, okay, how there could be some, some things, some key identifiers to what's, is there somebody you think about and they kind of agitate you a little bit, right? They get under your skin. Do you have any triggers? Lord, do I have any triggers? So write that down, okay? Do I have any triggers in my life, God? Right? Because what the enemy will do is he'll take your weakness, expose it, and he'll allow the enemy to attack you and keep attacking you and attacking you in that area where there is a weakness in your life. The weakness is an open door for an attack. Let's say that again. Your weaknesses are an open door for the enemy to launch an attack. Somebody write that down. That was good. A weakness, something that's unresolved and not dealt with is an opportunity for the enemy to capitalize on. It's an opportunity. Amen. So we are here to grow in God. We are here to get better. So somebody on here, if you had recurrent miscarriages like me, so God, where is the open door? When did this first start in my life? What's the root of these recurrent miscarriages? Is there somebody in my bloodline that had an abortion that opened the door to the spirit of death? Or did somebody put witchcraft on me and speak a word over me? Did something happen when I was a child or when I was a teenager? Is there something in my memory that I forgot about? Lord, bring these things to the forefront. Lord, bring these things to the surface. What parts of my flesh need to be under subjection of the Holy Spirit? What in me needs to be crucified? Hallelujah. Because really, God, I want to get closer to you, Jesus. I want to get closer to you, Jesus, and I want to grow. I want to serve you better, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you guys receive that? Let me know if you receive that. Amen. Amen. Let me know if you receive that. My God, my God. My God, my God. If you are new and just joined, my name is Andrea Scott, and I'm the founder of Pregnancy by Faith Ministry. Um. I am an advocate for those that are trying to conceive. I'm an advocate for those couples who have been dealing with infertility. I'm here to put voice to it. I'm here to support you. I'm here to pray with you and for you. I didn't been through it. I've been in the wilderness. I've been in the place of barrenness and now I'm in the place of, of fruitfulness. I've experienced loss after loss. Now I have four kids. Their names, <laughs> got a lot of kids. Their names are Joseph, Josiah, Justin, and Jasmine, all, all the J's, and it's only God. So I'm here as a testament to let you know what God can do. Having a miscarriage is not the end of your story. Waiting years and years to have a baby is not the end of your story. You can be 40 and still have a healthy baby. You can be 45 and still have a healthy baby. Luke 1 and 37, for with God shall nothing be impossible. Hey guys, I am thinking about having a service, a face-to-face -face live service where we can minister and lay hands and cast out. I'm thinking about having a fruit of the womb deliverance service in Illinois but I have to have enough people that are going to pay the registration fee so all of the expenses will be met. So that's something I'm thinking about. And if you would love to participate, um, put it in the chat or in the comments, send me an email or something like that. And if we have enough people that are interested that would actually come, 
then we will move forward with that, okay? Then we will move forward with that. Because it's good to pray online like this, but it's even better if I can see you face to face and minister what thus said the Lord of hosts. Amen. I would love to meet some of you guys. Some of you have been following the ministry for years and years and years. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's get back into it. So now it's prayer time. We've been on here for 40 minutes. And I'm going to try to make this a one hour service. Okay. <laughs> We're going to try to make this a one hour service. We've been on here 40 minutes. Okay. So if you're ready to be ministered to right now, if you are ready to let go and let God, hallelujah. If you are ready to be prayed over, hallelujah, type in, I am ready. Okay. And I'm going to pray. And my husband, if, if God leaves him, he's going to jump in and pray. He left to go attend to everybody that's here. Well, amen. We, he'll jump back in when he can. I am ready. If you are ready to be healed, go ahead and type in, I am ready. If you're ready to be delivered, type in, I am ready. If you're ready for the power of the Holy Spirit to move upon your womb, type in, I am ready. We do have a lot of videos here on um, this YouTube channel. And just by watching and participating with some of the videos People have experienced deliverance that way, and people report back with a testimony that they actually conceived. You want to come on in? Are you good? Yeah, they have actually conceived. It's amazing the different ways that God can begin to move and demonstrate his power. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Sharon Miller said, what time of the year? So uh, it would probably be in May. Uh, Sharon, as far as the, the Fruit of the Womb Deliverance Service, I'm thinking sometime in May just to give enough months to prepare um, for that. So spring is right around the corner, right around the corner. And we haven't had a Fruit of the Womb service in a couple of years, so it would be dope. Okay. Okay, everybody said they ready, so we going to pray. You going you gonna to come, Sharon? Sharon, you going to come? <laughs> Tanya Winfield said, I am 48 years old. Amen. Amen. So God, we thank you that we are in a position to be healed, That's right. to be delivered, to be set free. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus on behalf of these women that some of them may have emotional blockages. You are the God that answers your people. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that you give me all power and all authority over unclean spirits that cast them out. Mm -hmm. yes, Father, I pray for protection in the physical and in the spiritual realm. Thank you for protection as I begin to pray and as I begin to cast out unclean spirits that they will leave. Hallelujah. You have the floor, Holy Ghost. Say what you need to say. Move how you need to move, my God. Scan the area, Holy Spirit. I put on the whole armor of God. Thank you, Jesus. And I cover my family with the blood of Christ in Jesus' name. Thank you, amen, amen, amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I take authority over every unclean, unholy, foul, wicked thing that has attached itself to your womb, and I command it to leave you now in Jesus' name. I take authority over every foul, wicked spirit that has manifested itself in the womb to prevent pregnancy. In the name of Jesus, you come out of that womb right now in Jesus' name. You must leave and you cannot stay in Jesus' name. You got to go. Pack your load, take your roots and go in Jesus' mighty name right now. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over blockages that came from rape and molestation. Go in Jesus' name. You come up out of that womb in Jesus' name. I take authority over the blockage that enter in from rape and molestation where the enemy laid down a demonic plan. In the name of Jesus, I call you out of that body. Come out of the mind, will, and emotions in Jesus' name. Go. 
in Jesus' name, you must leave and you cannot stay. You cannot stay in Jesus' name. Come out of that body in Jesus' name. Hurry up. Go in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, trauma come out of the womb. Spirit of trauma, I call trauma out of your body. I call trauma out of your womb in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I call trauma out of your body in Jesus' name. Spirit of trauma, loose and let them go. Loose and let them go. Trauma, go. Come out trauma in the name of Jesus. All trauma come out of the womb, come out of ovaries and fallopian tubes, come out of the hormones, leave the menstrual cycle in Jesus' name. All the trauma, I call it out in the name of Jesus. Go. I rebuke witchcraft. I take authority over witchcraft in Jesus' name. I rebuke the spirit of witchcraft that attacks your womb in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. There's somebody on here and you are on here. I know that you're on here. There's something going on in your stomach right now. There's something going on in your stomach, like at the top center. As you were praying, you felt like this discomfort or churning or like a bubbling. If that's you, let us know so that we can pray over it right now. We want to be able to pray for you right now because I know you're on here. Don't be ashamed because God wants to heal you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank you, Shri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll say it again. There's somebody on here with something going on with their stomach. Thank mm-hmm. you, Father God. Hallelujah. Because I felt it as I was standing. It's almost to the point where it's like something digging in your stomach. It's like uh, uncomfortable. It, you want to throw up, but you can't. But at the same time, it's like nauseous, but not really. It's just a weird feeling. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Father God. Oh, yes, God. Lord. As you always say, Lord, you reveal it to heal it. And then, oh, yes, I hear you, Holy Spirit. Put your hands right there, um, right there on your stomach. I want you to lay your hands right there. And I'm going to begin to pray. This is just an act of faith. Just like the woman with the issue of blood, her act of faith was just to reach out and to touch. She moved. She didn't stay where she was. Like, well, God, you did it for them. I know you're going to do it for me. Although he can, but she took the initiative to reach out and to move and to do something. In so much that not only did it move Jesus Christ, and she said, it's literally stopped him in his tracks. It's going to stop God in his tracks right now. He's going to do it for you. It stopped heaven. I believe heaven stood still at that moment so that we hear about it today. So God, in the name of Jesus Christ, as an act of obedience and as an act of faith, as they're laying their hands, on that place of discomfort as you lay their hands on that stomach, remove whatever that is that's lodged in there, whether it's something physical, whether it's something spiritual, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ask that you remove it, Lord, and in its place, release your kingdom, release your healing. Breathe in that place. Blow your breath of life in that place. Just like how you blew in the breath, your breath of life inside of the nostrils of Adam and he came alive. He became a living being. He became a living soul. He was regenerated. He was full of life. Thank you, Father God. Even as they they inhale and exhale, as they breathe, heal that issue, Lord. Heal that issue that they have been struggling with. Heal that issue that they have been tormented with. Heal that that discomfort in their stomach. So now I'm going to speak to that part of your body, skin, muscles, organs, tissue, Red blood cells, white blood cells, intestines, colon, both large and small intestines. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ's name, the same God who lives, even as Elijah said, as the Lord God lives before whom I stand, because he lives. I speak to you and I command you, anything that is there that was not sent or was not given to her by the Lord Jesus Christ or by their creator. Your time is up and you have to leave there. Do not hide there. Pain, discomfort, dis-ease, even demonic spirits or any type of evil presence, you cannot lodge and hide there. You have been exposed. The Holy Spirit shined the light on you and you have been exposed. Holy Spirit, go to work there in their bodies. Just like how you moved upon the face of the deep, you moved upon the face of the waters before the Lord spoke and said, let there be. So Holy Spirit, go before them, move upon that part of their body as we speak, as we decree, as we declare, as we say, be healed, as we say, let there be 
in that part of their body. Mm, even as they're sweating right now, God, because your fire is penetrating. You all are sweating. You are sweating. You are fa- I see you right now in the spirit. You're, you're, you're fanning your clothes like this. You're, you're doing that because you're sweating. Your arms are sweating. Your armpits are sweating because God is doing a move in you now. Let him do it because whatever. Yes, I hear you, Holy Spirit. You may think that that's physical sweat, but whatever it is in the inside is coming out of your body. So he letting it come out through sweat, through your glands. Thank you, God. Who said that there is a law of how these demons going to come out? No, as long as they come out, whatever it is, whatever issue in your tissues or in your skin or in your body, it has to come out, whether it's through perspiration, whether it's through vomit whether it's through a bowel movement, it has to come out. So God, I thank you, God, that you are healing them even now. And even now, I think that they feel your healing and they feel that it is done in the name of Jesus. So I want you to put in the chat because I don't feel it anymore. Let me know how you feel. Thank you, God, for doing it. Lord. Whew. Put in the chat. I want to rejoice with you all. Put in the chat. I'm going to lay Jasmine down. I'll be right back. Amen. So if you are feeling any type of movement or pain, it's a demon. It's an unclean spirit that was agitated and it's just a manifestation. That's all that is. And so, oh, we're going to finish calling out the rest of the things out of your womb. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak to every foul thing under the sound of my voice, any demon that is manifesting that does not want to leave in Jesus name, come out of that body right now. Go. Your time is up in Jesus' name. Come out now in Jesus' name. Out. I break your covenant. I break your contract. I destroy your evil altars in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You got to leave and you cannot stay. Come out in Jesus' name. Go. Come out in the name of Jesus. I call the spirit of molestation out of your womb. I call molestation where you were molested, where your innocence was taken from you. I call it out of your body in Jesus' name. Right now. Spirit of fear, come out of the womb. I bind the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus Christ. All fear, come out. All fear, come out. Leave the mind, will, and emotions in the name of Jesus. Come out, fear. Stress, come out. Rejection, come out. Hatred, come out. Witchcraft, come out in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Backwardness, come out. Harassment, come out in the name of Jesus. Pain, come come out. You snake, you snake. I take authority over you snakes and scorpions in the name of Jesus, come out. You know what else could cause a a blockage to the womb? Spiritual spouses. Did you want to finish saying something? Because next I want to talk about the spiritual spouses. All right. Um, Giselle and Dree Paul. Hopefully hopefully I said your name right. Um, Inhale and exhale. Let me know if you still feel that... um, Oh, Whatever that was in your stomach. So let me know if you still feel it. Type it up on the screen if it's still there. Because if not, we definitely want to um, attack it. But if it's gone, praise God. So let me know if it's still there. Just type it up. Say yes or no. Yay, nay, maybe. What was the name again? Gisele, Lady ESQ, and uh, where is she? Thank you, Lord. OD, Paul. So let me know if it's if it's gone. Is it say lighter. I feel lighter? Amen. Okay. How do your stomach feel, though? Joyful. That's good. Okay. Thank you, God. Is the um, discomfort in your stomach, is it gone? And then I'm going to let Andrea do what she needs to do. <laughs> you cooking today? I wasn't planning on it. Okay. Oh, I cooked in. But if you want me to, I will. It's okay. Uh, if you want me to, I'll do it. You want me to? Why is she typing that up? <laughs> I just want to keep missing. Go ahead. I just want to go, go, go. I feel go, no go, discomfort. Go, feel go, Amen. Good. Praise God. Okay, go ahead. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for your deliverance. Amen. Some of you may need more deliverance, depending on what you've been through. Sometimes you need more than one session, but um, let's keep going. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every foul spirit under the sound of my voice. 
Oh, OD said the prayers. I felt a burning and I feel a great relief. Amen. And praise God. Okay. If you manifest when I say the next thing, if you start feeling something, that means it's an issue. So if I call out a spiritual husband or sex demons or snakes, you definitely need deliverance. Okay. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every foul spirit under the sound of my voice. You spiritual husband, you incubus spirit, you succubus spirit. I command a divorce in Jesus name. Every evil marriage certificate connecting back to the fruit of this woman's womb. I rebuke you spirit spouse. I rebuke you spiritual spouse in the name of Jesus. Spirit husband, spiritual wife, you come out of that body in the name of Jesus. You sexual demon that manifests yourself through the dreams and preventing the fruit of the womb. In Jesus' name, out. Spirit spouse, out. Come out of the womb. Spiritual spouse, I take authority over you and your evil spirit babies that block the fruit of the womb. You marine spirit, you have no roots here, no authority here. Out, 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 now, out, 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 in Jesus' name. Go, spirit spouse. Get out of there. I break your rings. I destroy your charms in the name of Jesus. Mm. I command a divorce and we break the soul tie in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. We break the soul tie. Here goes some more feedback in Jesus' name. Mm. I break the soul tie between you and the spirit husband in Jesus' in name. name. Jesus. Spirit spouse, come out of that body. Spiritual husband that's been blocking the fruit of the womb from manifesting. I command a divorce in the spirit and I command you to come out of her dreams. Hallelujah. You come out of this woman's dream in the name of Jesus. You come out of this woman's dreams in the name of Jesus. Out. Out. You demon that keeps causing this woman to have repeated dreams. Repeated evil dreams, repeated negative dreams, repeated attacks in the dream. The demon that causes repeated harassment in the dream that is yes. connecting to your womb. Out. Go in the name of Jesus. You come out of that body right now in Jesus' name. Go. Okay, somebody says, Camille, Camille says, I wish these comments could just stay up. They just keep disappearing, but... There was someone named Camille. And guys, we also have a super chat. Camille said, I just tuned in. I'm not sure if you cover the abdomen. Could you pray for my left lower abdomen, constant pain, lymphedema, legs, need a lot of different. Okay, Camille, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, lay hands on where the pain is. In the name of Jesus, I command the pain to come out of your body. I command the pain to come out of your body. In, in Jesus' name. Spirit of pain, out. Pain in the stomach, leave her. You demon. You spirit of infirmity. I uproot you and I break the curse. Mm -hmm. Call on his name as you're doing Go. that. Yes, call on his name. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Out. Oh, God. oh Jesus, yes, Jesus, yes, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Go. Call on his name as he's releasing healing. Ha -da 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 and let that name do the work. Let the da -da 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 work do all those areas. So call on his name as she's doing that. Why are you laying your hands on that place where the pain is? Uh, Camille, Camille. I speak to the lower abdomen. Yes, in the name of Jesus. I bind up the pain in the lower abdomen in the, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You come out, you spirit, in the name of Jesus, out. In the name of Jesus, out. Come from under her skin. In the name of Jesus, out. In the name of Jesus, out. You can't hide in those Go. Get out. Come out of the tissues. Have you got in, just get out. Come out of the organs in Jesus' name. Now I lose healing to your organs and I command you to be totally healed from head to toe. Holy Ghost, begin to move in the stomach. Holy Spirit, move in the legs. Holy Spirit, right move in the tissues. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, begin to move in the wombs of all the women that are uh, yeah. present right now. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost, move in the womb. Whew. Move out anything that's not of you, Lord. Remove it out. Right. All the waste come out of the womb in Jesus' name. It spiritual poison, come uh -huh. out. Yeah. Whoa, spiritual poison, come out. out. Take all of that with you. Scrape it and take it off with you. 
Do a clean sweep, Holy Spirit. Yes. Anything left behind, anything them demons or, or whatever it is left behind, say, you know what, it's fine. I'll leave that there. It's still a part of me there. I'll come back for that later. Out, no, you won't. out, no, you won't. out. Get out of there completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of there completely. We're talking to your Lord abdomen. We're speaking directly to your womb. Get out of there. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. You disrespectful, foul, rude demon in spirit. Get out of there. You know you're there illegally. And if by ignorance you had any legal right, the Lord rebukes you in Jesus' name. She deserves a new clean slate. Why? Because Jesus paid the price for her to have one. And you know it because he was there. You saw his crucifixion. You saw what it meant, especially when he came down there to make a fun of y'all and, 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 and make a mock of y'all openly. He tramped upon y'all, whooped y'all, took the keys of death, hell, and the grave, and came back and gave us gifts. Y'all was there. Y'all saw it. So you know the power that he had. Then he turned around and said, behold, I give unto you power. He gave us power over you. So you know your time is up. Get out of that body and the rest of them as well in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we ain't playing either. In the name of Jesus, we speak freedom. Whatever has tied itself to you, whatever has joined itself mm -hmm. with you, we command a divorce of anything that's not of God. We command a divorce in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke lateness and childbearing in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to and are safe. Father God, I pray for restoration in the womb. If there's anybody having pain, oh, let me ask her, uh, Camille, Camille, did the pain go away? Let us know um, how you're doing and what's going on. Be healed from head to toe. I speak life over everybody that is um, participating right now in Jesus' name. May God give you the answer and the solution. Oh, my God. God, I'm actually beginning to heal somebody's digestive system. Father, begin yes. to heal someone's nervous system. Beauty Ooh. is me. Regulation in your cycle in the Ooh. name of Jesus. Meant to be regulation in your cycle. And those who came on late, we talked about harboring and holding unforgiveness, which, which can give the enemy legal right to be able to do whatever it is that he does to people who holds that. Unforgiveness is like something that rest in people's tissues, their organs, and the doctor can't find what's wrong with them because it's something spiritual and it's literally unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is like a weight and, and it drains you physically and spiritually. So if you are having some type of art, it's not worth it to have it and to harbor it and to keep it. So release it so God can do what he's been wanting to do with you for the longest. So I decree and declare healing and, and regulation inside of your um, home more hormones inside of your body. Uh, beauty is me and everyone else who needs healing in that area. Progesterone, be at the proper level in the name of Jesus Christ. For Michelle, in Jesus' name, receive your healing today, right now. Thank mm -hmm. you, God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I take authority. Oh, God, God, the Holy Spirit said anxiety. So for those of you who are dealing with anxiety, I, take a, I rebuke the spirit of anxiety, which is roots from heaviness. Spirit of heaviness, leave now in Jesus' name, come out of the body. When you said spiritual poison, my entire body shook. Okay, wait. I'm just reading somebody's chat. When you when you said spiritual poison, my entire body shook and I began to gag. Thank you, Lord, for no more pain. Amen. So I encourage encourage you, those of you that are having some manifestations, um, I would definitely encourage you to try to do some self-deliverance because um, our time on here is limited. Right now we've been on a little over an hour, but some, some people need an individual or you need uh, a more focused, uh, personal uh, type deliverance. So do some self-deliverance. And also, um, let me see, do self-deliverance. Or you can book a session with me. Prayer and deliverance is, is for free. But I also have a fertility course and I do do one on one uh, fertility coaching, which is focusing on the, the natural side of, of fertility. If you desire to sow a seed into our ministry, um, you can do so. We do have a cash app and it's dollar sign pregnancy by faith. And uh, we also have a PayPal. You can go to our website and download for those of you who haven't download your free birth plan. Go to my website and download your free birth plan. Okay. Yeah, and speak over it. Mm -hmm. Speak over it. Pray over it daily. Take it to God daily. 
and you are laying out your plans for your pregnancy that you are going to have because we are decreeing that 2023 is your birthing year. 2023 is your birthing year. You want to know why I said some of you should do, do, do self-deliverance? If you can't connect with me, because I can't connect with everybody, but some of you I can. I said that because what came to me is, Lord, I won't let go until you bless me. I won't stop praying until you bless me. I won't stop decreeing, declaring, speaking until you bless me, Lord. I will not stop until the, the kingdom of heaven suffer violence and the violence shall take it by force. Amen. My husband had something to say to somebody. Um, after we got done praying, I felt that um, bubbling again, trying to come back. So what the enemy liked to do, he would try to make it seem like you're not healed by trying to um, um, disguise or make it seem like your healing hasn't taken place. So just remind him and say, no, this healing has taken place already. God already healed me. Satan, you leave me in the name of Jesus Christ. You're a liar and you know it. And I'm not going to come into agreement with whatever you're trying to show me. I rebuke this pain in Jesus name. Because Jesus already paid the price for me. Mm -hmm. And just like that, remember, the Bible confirms what I'm saying. Because if you resist the devil, what will happen? He will flee from you. So mm -hmm. if it seemed like it's coming back wherever the pain was that God just healed you from, if it seemed like it's coming back or the enemy try to make it feel like it's coming back, you just speak mm -hmm. to it and it'll leave immediately. Don't just sit there in it because it is written, the thing that I fear the most has come upon me. You don't want to come into agreement with what the enemy is trying to lie to you about so that it can be manifested. To one earth degree touching anything, it shall be done. That's, that's the trick of the enemy. So don't fall for his deception. Amen. God bless you. Somebody said, what is self-deliverance? Self-deliverance is when you cast unclean spirits out of yourself. It's when you call demons out of your body. Um, can you, demons don't. Can you give them an example? De mm -hmm. Demons don't just go away, but you have to call them out by name and cast them out. So like how the example is how I was praying. So basically um, you repent of your sins, you forgive, right? You want to do that first because you don't want the demons to uh, have a field day with you. Um, so if you are having depression and suicidal thoughts, you say, I bind you spirit of suicide that's been attacking me. So you bind, the Bible says, what's that we bind on earth bound, shall be bound in heaven. And then what's that we loose in the earth shall be loose in heaven. So I bind the spirit of depression that's attacking me. I command you to leave me now in Jesus name. And you just keep calling it out, commanding it to leave. You, you're uh, making a direct authoritative command until you feel it lift or leave you. Now, some people, when a demon is cast out, when an unclean spirit comes out of a man, um, some people will throw up. Some people will cough. You can fire. Some people sweat. Some people cry. Some people scream. So it can manifest itself in so many different ways. And some people just feel something lift off of them and they'll feel lighter. So that's like a brief uh, overview of self-deliverance. Somebody say, how can I book a session with you, Andrea? Check out the links in the description. So in the description box below, there's a lot of links there that you can click on. Click on the one that says um, Linktree. Linktree has everything, all things pregnancy by faith on there. Okay. So I hope we can see y'all and have a face-to-face -face service. Uh, some of you. You will see us again, not next Sunday, but the following Sunday, because we're going to have another Fruit of the Room service. And unless my husband has something to say, I'm going to pray us out. So you pray all out. <laughs> Peter, you is so funny. <laughs> hey, man, like us on Instagram, okay, or on Facebook at Pregnancy by Faith, okay? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So, God, we thank you for um, these miracle babies. We thank you for our first time um, visitors and watchers. Thank God. Thank you, God, for those that are tuning in for the first time. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. And if you're still manifesting, just command it to leave. Right. Cough it out. If you feel something moving around, cough that thing out. Don't let it stay. Don't hold it in because that's that's your deliverance. Don't hold your deliverance in. If you feel like you got a cough, let it out. If you feel like you got to throw up or vomit, let it out. If you got to feel like you burping, let it out. OK, it needs to come out of the body. You don't want it to stay in. OK, feel something wrestling with you. You definitely need a deliverance session if you feel something wrestling with you. Right. If you met, if you still if it's kind of, you know, you're going through some things right now in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I command freedom. I command freedom for you in the name of Jesus. Woo. I command freedom for you 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I command breakthrough in your womb in the name of Jesus. I curse every fibroid tumor from the root in the name of Jesus. I command every fibroid tumor to die in Jesus' name. I curse um, cysts, abnormal cysts in the name of Jesus. I command you to have healthy cervical mucus in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to ovulate on time and healthy eggs in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will restore the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, and that the caterpillar have eaten. And I cover you in your womb with the blood of Jesus. And I say to you, woman of God, be fruitful and multiply in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We love y'all. God bless y'all. Have a good day. All right. Bye. Uh, The X.